we all know the situation in Modena. They will change almost the entire team, uh, or at least the key, the key uh, players. Uh, the mystery will be who will uh, who will be the opposite. You know, because I, if I have to uh, see, I don't really uh, remember the name of this dude. But uh, come on, man. Okay, again. <laughs> No, Bukeger, no, uh, Betori. <laughs> Once again, in a, in a top team, underperforming like that, like showing one match and the entire season vanish, someone, someone have, uh, is, is, is doing uh, bad his job. But, but also, I, uh, I understand that because the, the problem with the Italians and foreigners, they need to, they, they need to do it, but I prefer to have two uh, Italian middle blockers and the, and the Libero, of course, which is Grevenico, and this is a problem. So this thing of Modena, many people say it will be one of the best next season, but they, would, they will have some problems next season. And of course, the Valencia, who play absolutely uh, really well this season, but like then the next one, they will renew all the team So they also don't want to... to, to... This is the new champion with Nishida. <laughs> <laughs> It will be over, guys. If, no chances for the I other mean, teams. I mean, uh... the next season is, is decided... If Nishida goes to, to, to Vibo Valentia, the season is decided before it they, starts. They, they, they will bring very uh, strong power like Douglas Sousa. The Olympic champion that never play in the Olympics, Mauricio Borges, <laughs> that dude play, but it's like a for me normal gay, uh, player, Flavio Gualberto, another Brazilian soul, and the most overrated player in planet Earth, Yuhi Nishida. So you have a great, great combo to to really fight well for for fifth place, sixth place, you know. So let let let's keep it real right here. <laughs> This is okay. quality content in this podcast. So. Uh, yeah, no, no political correctness here. 